Hey everybody, my name is Nate, and welcome to my MIT App Inventor 2 slider tutorial. Uh, this is going to show you how to make a slider that uh, clicks, or I believe the technical term is step, a step slider, I think, uh, where it clicks on different options. So let's say you have something where you want different options selected, but a drop down doesn't look good, a list doesn't look good. Well, maybe you can use this. And I'm going to show you how it works right here. As you can see, we have three different options the user can select. They can slide it over. It's always going to click on one of the three options, like so. No matter if they select around never or sometimes or always, it's always going to click to one of those three options. So I'm going to show you how to make this real quick. It's a really simple uh, project. I'm going to call this one Slider 2. And is that loads? There we go. Uh, first, I always do a horizontal arrangement right at the top to get a little bit of a buffer space there, buffer space, no parent, that's what I want, there we go. Now you're going to need two different horizontal arrangements, one for the slider, one for the options. Uh, let's fill the parent here, and then I'm going to take my three labels, and I'm going to put them in there, label one, label two, label three. First label is going to be, or let's do, I think it was never, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Either way, just as long as it's, you know, uniform one way or the other. Sometimes. Always. All right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do another couple horizontal arrangements. Horizontal. Horizontal. Then I'm going to fill the parent. With I'm going to fill the parent again. There we go. Now it's going to be nice and uniform. I'm going to actually uh, put these down to 10 so that box isn't so big. There we go. All right. I'm going to fill the parent here on this one. And I'm going to get my slider. Slider. All right. I'm going to set the width of the slider to 300. That's actually going to pretty much take up the whole screen. And then I'm going to center it. As you can see, I just selected this horizontal arrangement and hit center, so everything inside of it's centered. Now I have to make sure that uh, my values match my variables or my options here. So I have three, so I'm going to put three as my max value because I have three options. Uh, let's see, and then I have to make sure that my minimum value is one so that I have a value that's returned if it's all the way over to the left. Thumb position, we're going to have two. Uh, and if you were to mess around with this now, I'm not going to touch it right now, uh, but you could be in between here and in between here, and you know, what does that mean? Is that sometimes? Is that always? Um, so this, we're going to fix that. So we're going to go to our slider one under blocks here, and we want this uh, event handler when slider one position changed. And we're not going to actually use this thumb position option here. Uh, we're going to do it a different way. Um, so you might be tempted to put in there, you know, when slider, you know, set slider thumb position to, uh, you know, thumb position rounded, because we're going to use the round handler under math, math and round. That's how we're going to get that nice, uh, nice snap on there. Um, but if you put this in here, if you do this and you drop that in there, What's going to happen is every time this fires, it's actually going to redo the position changed event. Um, and so you're just going to get in a loop. It's going to loop, 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 loop. So what you have to do is you have to make an exit. We're going to do an if statement uh, right here. And I'm going to drop this. This is, this is what's going to change it. This is what's going to make it click. Now for my exit, well, I know if the thumb position is already at the round position, well, then I don't need to fire it. So that's what we're going to do. Logic equals, but we're actually going to put it not equals. And then I want under slider, I want the thumb position. So if the thumb position is not equal to, I'm going to actually copy and paste this round part here. If the slider thumb position is not equal to the rounded slider thumb position, we'll then set it to the rounded thumb position. But if it is, then it's going to exit out. And now we've got our nice the step slider there, where it's always going to go three. So now what you would do is after this if statement, 
you know, let's say we're just, let's say we use a variable um, instead of, uh, let's, or instead of like a tiny dv or something like that, but uh, let's just say the variable's when. We're going to initialize that. And then it would be another if then statement with a couple else's in there. Like that. And so you could say if. Actually, I'm just going to copy this guy right here. Cause, so if the slider the position equals, and then here we know it's going to either equal, oh my gosh, I can't believe you just did that MIT app inventor. Get that get out of there. There we go. All right. You know, if it's going to be set to one, two, or three. I know that because it's going to round it before it exits this. So I know it's going to be one, two, or three, and I know one is going to be never. So I'm going to set when to never, never. And then, you know, you could do the same thing. You could go, you know, if it equals two, because I know like the middle one is going to be two because it's going to round and it's going to lock. And this is going to be two every time. Well, that would be sometimes. And then finally, okay, if it's neither of those, it's got to be three. So uh, it's going to be always. And that's how you set your variable, and then you have your event or your option or however you want it um, that that does something in your app. So that's how that works. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, uh, leave the comments. Or if anything is not clear, please let me know. Um, then I can correct this tutorial. Um, I plan on coming out with a few more kind of uh, other ones that I things that I've picked up that are kind of different ways of doing stuff, or maybe that aren't covered on YouTube or in the tutorials or anything like that to give people new ideas and stuff. So thank you again for watching. Uh, have a good, I don't know. I got to work on an exit.